buckle your seat belts and make sure your trade tables are upright and locked. That planned $11 billion merger between American Airlines and U.S. Air hit an air pocket today, courtesy of the U.S. Justice Department. Attorney General Eric Holder, along with six state attorneys general, sued to block the merger, saying the deal would stifle competition after a wave of airline combinations in recent years. So that says the government could lead to higher prices, bigger fees, fewer choices. Shares of U.S. Airways falling 13 percent today. Shares of American's parent, AMR Corp., which is currently in bankruptcy but still trading, nosedived a staggering 45 percent. Hampton Pearson has more now on the DOJ's suit and what it might mean for the future of the merger and for consumers. At Reagan National Airport, just across the river from the Justice Department, antitrust lawyers say a merged American Airlines and U.S. Air would control 69 percent of the takeoff and landing slots and control 63 percent of all the nonstop routes. That, says the Justice Department, is an air travel snapshot of the harm to competition and consumers if American Airlines and U.S. Air are allowed to create the world's largest airline with 6,700 daily flights serving 56 countries and annual revenues of $40 billion. Assistant Attorney General for Antitrust William Baer says we simply cannot approve a merger that would result in U.S. consumers paying higher fares, higher fees, and receiving less service. Consumer advocates are cheering the government lawsuit. There were no benefits for consumers in this merger. There were only benefits for the airlines. The, um, on a net basis, consumers got no new destinations, and we lost competition across the country. The crackers? Okay. The two airlines will fight the Justice Department. A joint statement from U.S. Air and American Airlines parent company AMR reads in part, we will mount a vigorous defense and pursue all legal options in order to achieve the merger and deliver the benefits of the new American to our customers and communities as soon as possible. The stocks of both airlines were hit hard on news of the government lawsuit. Analysts say it's a shock to an industry that has profited from the previous mega mergers involving Delta, United and Southwest Air. The market seems to think it's not going to happen if you look at the share prices. So it does not look good. They're going to have to litigate it all the way to the death and maybe experience the death of the deal that way. Barring a settlement, the looming court battle could determine if the wave of airline mega mergers that began back in 2008 is over. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson at Reagan National Airport.